Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lords. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day and uh, yeah, that means I'm back. I'm very sorry that I've not been doing any videos over the last two weeks. I've actually been moving house, which has been very stressful for me, and I finally just got into the brand new house and it looks amazing. But the only thing is, you'll probably hear a little bit of an echo in today's video, which I do apologize for. And also Nathan is here, so if he comes in about that too, you know, he's just gonna kind of go crazy. But today, we're gonna be looking at the brand new f Season 5 patch notes for Fortnite Battle Royale. They've actually just been released and I haven't read through them yet and we're going to be doing it together in today's video. We're going to be reading together and these are going to be genuine reactions. I've only seen one thing confirmed and I went crazy when I heard about it. So anyway, before we do get into the video guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel as I do have a Season 5 V-Bucks giveaway going on. So basically when Season 5 is out, I'll give, I'll like pick a few people to actually win some V-Bucks so they can purchase the Season 5 Battle Pass. Uh, but other than that, let's get into today's video. So anyway, here we are on screen right now, and as you can see, here are the first in five patch notes, and you can already see that these characters look amazing. I mean, I love the mask of this dude right here, and I also love this skull guy, because he looks really, really badass. I love that beard too underneath him. He's got like a blue beard. It's like a Viking or something. Uh, but anyway, if we just kind of move down, uh, you will see here that it says, Worlds Collide in Season 5. Viking ships, desert outposts, and ancient statues have appeared across the island. Hop into an all-terrain card ATK with your squad and uncover new mysteries and locations that await. Tell me, partner, do you feel lucky? Test that new look with the flint-off weapon. Uh, set while you can challenge the horde. No, that is not even the right thing. That's see, that that saved the world. Okay, new season, new battle pass, 100 levels, over 100 new rewards available in game right now for uh, 950 V bucks. So confirmed, guys. It is going to be 950 V bucks. And if you just kind of go down here, the first thing that's confirmed is an all-terrain card for <laughs> for battle royale. It says here, plow or slide into battle with the all-new all-terrain card. ATK, grab some friends and go for a ride. This is absolutely insane. So as you can see, it's got the Durberger helmet and the kind of Tomato Town helmet. That looks really cool. I love it. And if we just kind of move down a little bit more, it says here, test your courage and step into a rift. You're in for a wild ride. These are apparently going to be like kind of anomalies in the game. And as you can see, this is Battle Royale. This area right here is Battle Royale. So that looks amazing. But basically, when you walk into these, it will teleport you to random location across the map. So that's really, really cool. Uh, but anyway, this has saved the world now. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go up to the Battle Royale notes. And uh, as you can see right here, here's the Battle Royale. It says here, shotguns will now indicate how many pellets hit visible within their rectile. Adjusted the shotgun spread patterns to be consistent with no random variation. Heavy shotgun now fires 10 pellets rather than 5. Maximum damage for every shotgun remains unchanged. After firing a shotgun, another shotgun cannot be fired for a very short time. I like that. I really, really like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, reduce the hunt rifle aim assist when targeting to a match of that of other sniper rifles. I, I don't get that. But I think that's something to do with like maybe console and aim assist and everything. Uh, change the damage drop off to the uh, profile for the suppressed SMG to be the same as other SMGs. Uh, so they've kind of reduced it a little bit. So that's pretty cool. The gameplay is an all new terrain card in ATK. The new the all the new all terrain card ATK has some room for your entire squad. Get a speed boost after drifting. The roof acts as a bounce pad. Work together as rear passengers to leap over obstacles with the ATK. Lean back and release at the same time for a higher jump. Lean back by holding the S on keyboards or holding back on the thumbstick of controllers. Map updated, new biome desert, new location paradise palms, new location lazy links, a few unnamed POIs have been appeared across the land. So we don't have a full indication of how many there are, but obviously there's going to be more than just Paradise Palms and Lazy Links. The center of Storm Circle 7, 8, and 9 can now shift in random directions instead of simply shrinking. As the storm closes in, it will move and shrink to a new location. That right there is going to be a game changer. That's pretty awesome. Uh, starting in Season 5, progressive challenges will no longer be restricted to a single season. You can now complete progressive challenges at your own pace. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. I think that's pretty darn cool. Progressive challenges are now completely acquired by a fixed amount of XP and is no longer dependent on your season level. Gyro motion controls have now been added to the Nintendo Switch. Adjust these options in the settings menu. Um, I'm just going to kind of skip a little bit. So let's see. Weekly challenges now split into two sections, free and battle pass. The first three uh, challenges will be available 
free while they, the last four are only available if you own the battle pass. The threshold to unlock the weekly season rewards will remain at four. Down but not out players will have a similar, uh, smaller collision. Let's see, there's just so much stuff that's been added, like what the heck? That is insane. Emotions now interrupt sprinting. Uh, launch pads and cozy campfires now destroy overlapping small objects when placed. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I just can't see anything like that's pretty crazy that sticks out to me, to be honest. Um, so yeah, this is all just kind of re regular stuff, guys, to be honest. This isn't really that big. Uh, but if we do move down, it says, uh, let's see, increase the so shopping carts will still be in the game too, which is kind of crazy. Uh, let's see, audio, just audio fixes, UI. Let's see, we now allow users to, no, no, no. Uh, stream mode long saves, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there's not really that much that's being added in terms of what they're actually kind of revealing. There is definitely going to be more points of interest on the map and a lot more locations for us to discover, including Easter eggs and all that kind of stuff. But as of right now, the stuff that's on the patch notes isn't really that big, apart from the couple that we actually saw, which is, you know, uh, holy crap, they look insane they look insane so i don't think they've actually confirmed any new weapons but they have introduced a brand new kind of vehicle into the game which is awesome and also a new rifts kind of feature which is you know if you walk into these little glass like substances these rifts in time you will go on a wild ride that is exactly what they've said right there but this right here which is palms uh, wait, wait what was it was it like peaceful palms or something like that uh, this looks really cool i really love this kind of like a uh, biome i mean obviously it's a kind of desert looking area with palm trees and uh, we've also got a couple of like kind of cactuses in the back right there I just think this is amazing. I think it's going to be so freaking cool. Uh, guys, tell me in the comment section below what your favorite thing is about this update. I mean, are you excited for the, the ATK? Are you excited just for Season 5 in general, the new skins? Tell me in the comment section below. I would love to know. Personally, for me, I'm loving that brand new skin, this one right here. I think it's really cool, and I definitely think that uh, that's going to be the level 100 kind of Season Battle Pass a character. I am definitely going to be buying the full season battle pass within the first couple of minutes that this game is actually released or this season is actually released. So yeah. Uh, but anyway, like I did say guys, I do want to apologize about the echo in the room. I'll try my best to fix it over the next couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be making some content and I'm going to have a load of videos on season five Easter eggs, videos, guides, all that kind of stuff in the next couple of hours. So please make sure to subscribe. Do not miss out on the channel. And uh, yeah, I guess just have an awesome day. Enjoy the gameplay in the background. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.